Hi, my name is Jacob. Jacob Bolger, I'm a uh, dog trainer, uh, behavior problem solver. This is my dog, Lucy. And I want to talk a few minutes about, for a few minutes, about um, punishing your dog. I've been getting a lot of questions about that lately. It seems like uh, seems like people want to do that some, and uh, it surprised me, really. Because I've actually been a trainer for many years, and I've never really heard too much about that. Or people that um, think that uh, dogs know when they've done wrong because of the way they act when you come home. And so I want to say something about it. Lucy, of course, extremely well-trained dog she is, no doubt. Um, and uh, and she's in many of my in many of my videos. Um, and uh, very well house trained, by the way. I mean just would never have an accident or anything, you, you wouldn't imagine. Um, a couple mornings ago, I uh, woke up in the morning and not to a good smell, and there was a pile of crap in the, on the floor over there by the door, and a um, pile of poop. And, you know, I didn't do anything any different than I normally did. I went directly to my computer. Uh, got on it, checked my email like I usually do, and uh, Lucy continued to sleep in the um, in the chair. She was a, she's when I wake up, she wakes up, you know, and her eyes open. She's sort of like keeping an eye on things, but she she didn't act guilty at all, mind you, not at all. Well, the reason why is because every once in a while, Lucy does have an accident. Maybe she has an upset stomach or something like that, and when she does, I don't treat it much differently than anything else that happens during my day. Um, and the reason why is because I know that it was an accident. And she is house trained. And even if she wasn't, I still wouldn't ever punish her for having an accident or even while she's learning not to poop in the house or whatever. Um, it just doesn't have any good effect. Punishing dogs has no good effect. After a while, I got some paper towels and some cleaning solution, and I cleaned up the floor, and as I did it, I sang. Um, I sang something, I think it was Amazing Grace, but I'm not, I'm not sure that that matters. But it just, I think the, the whole idea that your dog knows that, that they've done something wrong, the reason why they act the way they do, when, they, when you come home, perhaps they chewed up something, or they peed in the middle of the floor, the reason why they act so uh, guilty or, you know, cowering and that sort of thing, the reason why they do that is because of you. Um, dogs pick up on your mannerisms. They see expression. They see the look in your eyes. They see the raised eyebrow or the curled lip. They see smiles. They know when you're laughing and they know when you're happy. They know when you're sad. Um, and they oftentimes mirror the way you feel. Um, they're able, they're extremely intuitive to your feelings and to your emotions. So, if you come home and your dog is acting guilty, it's not guilty. They are afraid of you probably. Punishing a dog, all it does is cause fear. Fear. Um, it doesn't lead to any kind of respect or reverence. The only way you can gain that, actually, is most certainly not through punishment. Any form of punishment, whether it be yelling, uh, screaming, uh, smacking a newspaper on your hand, loud noises. And of course, dogs' ears are extremely sensitive. So if you make loud noises, you're going to frighten your dog. Um, hitting them, uh, pushing their nose into their own feces or their own pee. Um, spraying water at them, uh, using choke or pinch or, or prong or uh, spray or shock collars or anything, anything, anything that is negative reinforcement with your dog is wrong. And it most definitely is abuse. Um, it is not the way to teach your dog. If you have any question about the way to teach your dog, contact a positive reinforcement trainer and have them show you. Please, it's really important.
is doesn't do a bit of good. And you know, if you think about it, if you had a boss, if you had a boss that was in charge of you at work, and they treated you badly all the time, uh, you would not likely respect them very much. It's just use that as an analogy. Um, if you treat your dog badly all the time, they're not likely to respect you very much. You've got to treat them well and kind and uh, take care of them, nurture them, love them, and, uh, and, and that's it. No punishment. Zero punishment. Zero yelling. Zero negative whatever. Don't do it with your dog. Please. Thank you. Hi, Lucy. Are you a sweet little dog? I think you are.